Hello, my name is Robert Gabbaum, Customer Success Manager for iConstruct. And first of all, I'd like to wish everybody a happy and safe holiday season from the team at iConstruct. I want to do a short video before breaking away for the holidays, is I want to show you BIM flow. There's a lot of people out there, you probably know, all the different things that iConstruct can do on top of Navisworks. Most of the stuff you're doing during the day. But with BIMflow, we can automate all this process to have it done overnight. So we thought during the holiday season, this is probably a perfect time to be showing you this, is you could automate some of these processes while you're off on the ski slopes or whatever. So to get started here, I'm going to open up BIMflow. And I'm not going to do everything here from scratch, but I'm going to start showing it anyway. So I'm going to create a new project here. And I'm just going to call this one BIMflow. And so what I want to do is I want to show you the interface. And so we're going to right click on this and go to design workflow. So the whole idea behind BIMflow is we set up sequences of what we want to do. And then we can automate this process and schedule it. So I could say, let's schedule this every Thursday night, uh, eight o'clock at night on this person's machine, and it'll go through this entire sequence. And so I'm just going to show you how to do some, and then I'm going to open up one that I've already did. So basically what we're doing here is we're saying, hey, let's start Navisworks. That's what we want to do first. Then once we get Navisworks started, I want to open up a model. So we'll come over here and open up a model activity. And I'd come in and specify the model name. And I can do that by just going into the files here. And I'm going to just hold the shift key down and right click and copy it as path. So now I'll come in here and I'll just paste that. So that's the file I want to open up. Then once that file's open, I need to run all my class tests. So let's go in here and we're going to run our class tests. So that's the first thing we want to do. So we're going to go class test run activity. And we're going to run all the tests. But if I only want to run one or two, I could just type in the name there. But if I leave it blank, it's going to run them all. Then what I want to do is I'm going to group all my clashes. And so I can go in here and group activity. And then you just need to specify what you're grouping here. So I'd say I want to do it by zone, level, system, name. That's something I've pre-created. And so that's the idea of this whole thing. It's just dragging and dropping and putting in the different things you want. Like I said, I've already created one. And this is the one I've just done. And so I'm going to tell you what we've done here. So I'm starting Navisworks. I'm opening up a model. I'm going to run the class tests. I'm going to create views of all the clashes. Then I'm going to group it. Then what I'm going to do is hide, unhide everything. And I'm going to grab a selection set of some pipes. I'm going to take all those pipes and I'm going to break up the pipes by hot water, cold water, and sanitary sewer. And so that's what this execute audit does. Then I'm going to grab a different selection set. And this one's going to be my framing. And what I'm going to do with the framing is I'm going to export this out as a brand new NWD file. So that's what we can do with the reconstruct tools. You can break up models into smaller pieces and export those out and give you a smaller model. And so once I've reconstructed that, I'm putting in a little delay, just a short little delay. Then I'm going to turn around and open up that model, that new framing model. And then I'm going to color code it. And so what the color coding does is I'm going to do the color coding based on the status. So it's looking at a database that's maybe updated on a daily basis or weekly basis. And I'm going to color code all this framing. And then when that's done, I'm going to take the framing and I'm going to audit it and break it up by all the different sizes of steel that I have. That's what we're going to do. So I'm just going to minimize this a little bit. Come into my model here. So as you can see here, I don't have anything open at the moment. I'm going to go ahead and go run BIMflow. And we'll just minimize this. So what it's doing first is going to open up the model here. There it's open. You can see it just ran all the clashes. So that's what I told it to do. Now it's starting to create all the viewpoints. And you can see over here there's a new folder that's been created. And this folder is the date. And then it's also going to have underneath that the level and the zone that it's in. So I'll give this a few seconds. Now it's finished creating all the clash views. Now it grouped them all. So now you can see over here, I've got the different zones, the levels, and the system name. So zone four, level four, supplier 299. Those are the clashes associated with that group. 
Now what it's doing is taking all the piping. So he says auditing the piping type. So it's grabbed the piping selection set. And now it's auditing it. So it's now going to create new viewpoints over here of the hot water, the cold water, and the sanitary sewer. So if I expand this out over here, now you can see the domestic cold water, hot water, and sanitary sewer. If I do these views here, you can see there they've been broken up into the zones and then all the different levels. Now what it's doing is taking that model and exporting this model out into a brand new NWD. And now I'm going to open up that NWD with only the structural framing in that model. So this will take a few seconds here. Now it just opened up the new model. It color coded them. Now in a second here it's going to unselect everything. And now it's gone through and created all the different viewpoints and it says the workflow is unloaded. So I'm just going to get out of this. I'm going to unhide everything. Let's change the view here. And now you can see all of this is color coded and I have all the different uh, steel types in here created out into different selection sets. Once again, you can set this up to run automatically at night, certain day of the week, certain computer at a certain time. I hope you enjoyed watching this. Once again, have a happy and safe holiday season. Thank you.